My name is Rebecca Shirley. I'm the Deputy Director for the World Resources Institute Africa. We are a global non-profit research institute helping to deliver solutions at the nexus of people, nature and climate. And I can't say how honored we are on behalf of the World Resources Institute, on behalf of our partners like One Tree Planted, ABSA behind me, to be here launching the Terra Fund. Uh, governors, Deputy Governor, Governor, we are so glad, so honored, so humbled that you are here with us to launch this fund and to be champions of the restoration movement, as you said, not just in Kenya, but really across Africa. So Terra Fund is essentially a mechanism, an initiative under AFR 100, Africa's restoration initiative, an initiative to restore over 100 million hectares across the continent by 2030. And with this particular initiative, what we're doing is helping to drive capacity and resources directly into the hands of enterprises and community-based organizations that are already doing fantastic restoration work. We're not here creating new champions. We're here supporting the champions that have already been doing the hard, difficult work of restoring landscapes across the continent. And specifically with this phase of Terra Fund, we're supporting enterprises right here in the Great Rift Valley, which is why we're here launching in the beautiful Nakuru County. So this work is all about supporting restoration champions at the county level, at the landscape level, and of course, those enterprises that are able not just to do restoration, but restoration that is creating economic opportunity and livelihoods for those living in the vicinity of the, of the spaces that we are restoring. So we're so excited to be here on behalf of the entire World Resources Institute. Let me say thank you for joining us. And we truly look forward to partnership with the counties, with the communities, with, um, with the friends of the communities, and with our international community to deliver financing and resources at scale to restoration champions across Kenya. And as we plant the trees, we are taking care of ourselves. Because as the plants, as, as the plants give out uh, oxygen, now we also give out carbon, carbon dioxide which need to be recirculated. So if there are no plants, we shall have too much carbon monoxide in the air, which is going to affect our health. And remember, health, a healthy nation is a wealthy nation. So we need to take care of our environment very, very much. And as, as, uh, as also in the urban areas, we need to be also more particular about the urban areas. Where, where we can get a space, even a small space, or planting one tree, please let us do so. Even in the streets, along the streets, let us plant some trees. Why? Because we have a lot of carbon monoxide released into the air by vehicles, by industries in the urban areas. So, so many people will be affected if we don't plant the trees, uh, we don't plant the trees in our urban areas. So, and again, what I'm, I want to stress is to really look at the people who can plant trees in the rural areas. I want us to sensitize our youth our, uh, our mothers, especially our youth and mothers, because these are the people, we, when you tell them something, they're actually going to, to act on it. And uh, especially, let me applaud uh, the women so much, because women, whenever they do something, they are very serious on it. They don't want failures. They actually don't want failures. They want to make sure that whatever they have decided, they are going to do it. So let us uh, try to teach them to own this process of tree planting. So the moment they own the process of tree planting, then we shall not get any problem, and especially from down from the rural areas. Places where we get money, at the same time, we are actually scaling up and restoring the environment, degraded uh, landscape. Meaning that uh, going forward, we are actually going to make money like anyone else, but in the process, we make money and also protect our environment or even grow and make sure that we grow more trees. So as a county we are very excited because we are one of the counties which supply water to over five counties near us and even beyond. And the reason why we want to protect and give Marakwet escarpment and uh, environment is that we are a host of almost three ecosystems. We have the Kaptagat, we are actually at the beginning of Mao, we have Kaptagat, we have the Elgeo, we have the Charangani, he has ecosystem and we have the Mbabut, the famous Mbabut ecosystem. All those ecosystems are in one county and it shows how we are very important in the conservation process to ensure that we need to scale up. The same to the entire Rift Valley, Great Rift, we are actually the, uh, the producers of food. So if we protect the environment, we'll get enough water 
to irrigate our lands. We will actually make our environment beautiful and of course our people to make money. As a county, we have requested WRI that you specifically, if possible, they fund, they provide funding. Our young people and women are actually very talented. They want to do this. But the problem is they don't have the capacity in terms of knowledge and finance. But these two issues are being sorted out in this launch today, where the finance will be gotten and actually the capacity will be, will be scaled up for our young people and even our women enterprises. Meaning that uh, going forward, it will be very easy because we will have green enterprises and in the process we will have a, uh, a transformed country. Secondly is that we are actually happy that our president has set a good tone at the top. I want to congratulate our able president, William Samoy Ruto, for giving us a target of 5.1 billion trees. As a governor, uh, and is governor uh, for that fact, I have played to support him with my county with growing of 60 million trees in the first five years. That means that we are actually, we have divided, the, we have broken down the five billion into counties and we have actually calculated that we are able as a county. What we have done as a county is to bring everyone on board. Churches have already started the program of planting trees. Every judge, person who goes to church, every reverend, every bishop, every pastor, every priest, everyone who goes to church are actually pledging to plant trees. Secondly, we are starting, we are uh, launching a program called the Greening Schools. We are partnering with every school to ensure that they can plant at least 2,000 trees in every primary school and secondary school, both private and government. That way, we are targeting another one point something million. We have other partners who are coming to look for carbon. But this specific program by WRI is one of the biggest game changer because people are making serious money, serious money in the process and actually is going actually to even support the president's industrialization program where if we have green enterprises producing uh, uh, items from green, uh, uh, from, the, from actually the environment and ensuring we restore landscapes and make money in the process, then we will be actually growing the economy at the same time uh, fitting into the president's uh, presidential tree planting campaign. My name is Linda Kosge uh, from the Ministry of Environment, Climate Change and Forestry from the National Tree Growing Restoration uh, Campaign Secretariat. As we all know, uh, in December uh, 2022, on the 21st, the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Dr. William Samoe uh, Ruto, launched the 15 billion campaign. And the 15 billion campaign seeks to accelerate tree growing in Kenya and, last, and uh, land uh, restoration and to move the tree cover from 10%, which is what we have in the constitution, to 30%. And uh, therefore that means the government cannot do this alone. The government needs to work with both state and non-state actors in, uh, to be able to achieve this goal. More importantly is the initiative that um, WRI, the World Resources Institute, has come up with, and that is the Terra Fund. And the Terra Fund is a very important initiative in realizing uh, this particular goal of moving Kenya's tree cover from 10% to 30%. This is because it is going to give an opportunity to stakeholders, including CBOs, MSMEs, and uh, local communities, to be able to tap into resources that is very important in terms of uh, tree growing. Therefore, this initiative for the second um, phase of Terra Fund could not have come at a better time. We appreciate the efforts by WRI and uh, its partners. We are happy to partner with WRI and its partners uh, to be able to achieve this special presidential program. Yeah, my name is Teresa Mudoni. Uh, Nakuru is dear to me for sure. Uh, I am in charge of one tree planted. We are working together with the World Resource Institute and the government and the enterprises and CBOs to build a restoration movement, not only in Kenya, but in Africa, whereby we are working with the different organizations and enterprises to make sure that we are, we are restoring our degraded areas. You all heard that 65% of our agriculture land is degraded. We need to do something about that because if we don't do anything about that, our future generations will blame us. 
we are the restoration generation and we have to work closely with the people on the ground. The governors, I'm so impressed for the great work that is happening on the ground and this great movement. It's a partnership trying to collaborate, trying to complement each other. WRI one tree planted, we want you people, media people, kindly tell people in these 13 counties to apply for these funds. The money is there, we have money for restoration, and we want to see the grassroots communities benefiting from the, the funds. We don't want to see big organizations, international organizations, like taking all that funds. We want to see more of our women, more of our, our youth benefiting from that. We will be available for any question. We have all the answers to the questions. It's not complicated to apply funding from World Resource Institute and One Tree Planted. Uh, we will be able to make sure that we will make it simple for everyone. And those who will not get the fund, it is very like there is no loser in this because we have another interesting program, capacity development, technical assistance in terms of capacity building. If you cannot be able to write a good proposal, we'll be able to help in terms of supporting them to know how to write proposals and be able to, fund, uh, to, to, to get funding, not only from the WRI, One Tree Planted and Realized Impact, but also from other donors that are funding restoration initiatives. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Venkat Ayer. I work for the World Resources Institute. I lead our finance work. Thank you, Your Excellency, um, for having us here today. I'm not going to repeat a lot of what was already said. Um, TerraFund is an interesting and unique facility in the sense that it finances what we call restoration champions. And 60 to 70 percent of Africa's land is owned or stewarded by communities. And we strongly feel that the way to scale restoration is to drive finance and invest in these communities. They're doing amazing work. We want to find the best ideas and scale those ideas. It's one of the reasons why you see a lot of the World Resource Institute team here, the One Tree Planted team. Um, why we, I mean, it was wonderful meeting the governor last night, uh, understanding what land restoration, what's working, um, what needs to be scaled. And our theory of change is that if we invest in communities that are doing excellent restoration, whether that's gully restoration, riparian restoration, agroforestry, mango planting. We met a lot of communities yesterday. We can get additional investment in that to scale. We don't necessarily want to see small ticket size investments like grants reoccur year after year. What we want to do is we want to invest now so then we can get co-financing from a larger global community. Governor, you mentioned um, the, the, the hectare target, 10, point, 10 plus million hectares. To do that, it's not going to be enough just for the World Resource Institute or One Tree Planted to do hundreds of projects. We need to galvanize additional investments. So one of the key theories of TerraFund, which is sort of our benchmark for success, is to galvanize co-financing, public financing, more private financing. So every project we finance can truly generate every $1 equals $7 to $10 back. So that's, where, that's why we're here, working very hard to learn from communities, working really hard to understand where we need to target the right types of restoration. Um, and we'll be here for a significant period of time over the next few years. So thank you so much. And Bankat, could you tell us how much we're hoping to invest yeah. in the Great Rift Valley over what time period? Yes, so, so, so this year when we launched TerraFund uh, two years ago, it was a $15 million capital round across AFR 100 countries. So we funded 100 projects in 27 countries. Um, this year we're launching a $12 million capital round across our three focused landscapes, which are the Great Rift Valley here in Kenya, the Rusizi Basin and Lake Kivu area, which is in Rwanda, Eastern DRC and Burundi, and also the Ghana Coca Belt. And it goes without saying that, at least within our last pipeline, in, in relation to what we see here in Kenya, um, we got a lot of applications last time. We got 3,200 applications across the continent. More than 500 of those were from Kenya. And within our existing portfolio, we finance 14 projects currently in Kenya. So the majority of our existing portfolio is Kenya based. And we suspect that as we move forward and we analyze the pipeline and the market sizing, because um, we launched our RFP our request for proposals a couple days ago, or last week, I should say. Um, within this month, we expect to see a significant amount of applications. And given that we, we don't necessarily have a specific parameter on how much we want to deploy to each landscape, we want to fund the best restoration champions with the very best ideas. Not the best proposals, but the best ideas. And we want them, and we want them to get scaled. That's why we're here.